Normally I'll tell you about the top five reptiles in this category or that category, but today I turned 32 years old and to celebrate, how about I tell you about 32 different reptile species you have never heard of. My name's Adam, this is Diamond. You're watching Wicked Wicked Reptiles, stick around. I'm serious. I'm gonna bet that at least half of these you have never heard of and there's at least a few I'd never heard of until I had to do research for this video about reptiles that no one's ever heard of. So let's go through 32 amazing reptiles. I'll tell you a little bit about each one, why they're cool, why they made the list, and I want you to tell me which ones you didn't know or which ones you did. What is your tally? Ones that you knew versus ones that you didn't. And if I forgot one that you think I don't know about, put that in the comment section too. But let's get started with number 32, Chinese crocodile lizards. Now we talked about these last week and what an amazing species. They're called Chinese crocodile lizards because they're from China, Vietnam too. And also they kind of look like crocodiles. Like imagine baby Godzillas. That's basically what they are. So one of my favorite species that I'll probably never own, but crocodile lizards. 31. White-eyed croc skinks. Now you guys probably know about red-eyed croc skinks and white eyes come from the same part of the world. They kind of act almost the exact same and they're gonna give birth to one or lay one egg which turns into a baby and they take care of their baby just like the red eyes. Very similar care, similar look, they're all amazing. Number 30, sunbeam snakes. Now these snakes are called sunbeam snakes because they look so iridescent. It almost looks like an oil slick when you get them out in the sun. I found one of these guys in Bangkok on the side of a highway basically, which is crazy because it was just out in the middle of the night. But normally they're a fossorial species that's gonna be dug into the ground so you'll almost never see them. You might even walk over top of them if you're walking next to a Bangkok highway, which is where we found one. And on that same night, we found number 29, tentacle snakes. So tentacle snakes have these little tentacles on their face, but I'll tell you what, what's interesting to me is that they're fully aquatic snakes or mostly aquatic snakes and I found them in the most putrid, disgusting water I have ever encountered. We're talking about this stuff smelled awful. I picked this thing up out of the water. I couldn't even believe the way that my hand smelled. That is the way those guys are living in the wild in Thailand. Amazing snakes. Number 28, spider-tailed horn vipers. Now these are a viper species from the Middle East and they use a caudal lure type I guess mechanism to get their food. So they have an appendage or a scale formation on the end of their tail that looks like a spider. They dance it around, they wait for a bird to swoop in, and then that bird is gonna try to eat that spider, but guess what? On the other side of that spider is very sharp fangs and a ton of venom, and that is how they get their food. Number 27, Mata Mata turtles. Oh boy, this is my favorite turtle species. Wide heads, crazy looking, absolutely amazing. This is a showstopper. If you see them in someone's house or a lobby of a business, a reptile shop, a zoo, one of the coolest species of turtles in the world. Number 26, Tuatara. This should have been number one. Now Tuataras are not lizards, despite looking like this. In fact, they have very many similarities, but they branched off of snakes and lizards millions of years ago, and they're the only remaining species of that family. So they live in New Zealand, they're highly endangered, you're not gonna see them in any private collections, and you're only gonna see them at a few zoos around the world. My favorite reptile species, are the one that I think is the most unique anyway, and one you might have never heard of. Number 25, gharials. I love gharials. Now these are a crocodilian species, they're from parts of India, that area of the world, and they have that knot on the tip of their nose. So long slender snouts, they have that knot on there, they have this crazy bellow sound, and they're really big animals, but one of the most unique, and they're endangered, and you're not gonna find them in too many collections. So something that you'll have to enjoy in this video and many others, but you'll probably never see in person. Number 24, let's ruin it with some amphibians, since there's so many, hairy frog. Now hairy frog doesn't have hair. A hairy frog looks like it has hair, but really it's just formations on the skin, so hairy frogs. Can't even believe these things are real. Number 23, Spider-Man lizards. Now, if you live in South Florida, you might've seen these, even though they're not from there, but they are invasive. And they're called Spider-Man lizards because, well, they have Spider-Man colors. They're red and blue. Yeah, and they do the head bobbing and the push-ups and the whole thing. Overall, one of the more interesting, most beautiful lizards in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I couldn't do this list without showing you a Spider-Man lizard. Number 22, 
Solomon Island Ground Boas. They're a ground boa, kind of fossorial, gonna hide in the leaf litter. They like it a little bit cooler, and they're from the Solomon Islands. I think the price is gonna go way crazy. These guys are gonna be so, so popular in the near future. So scoop one up now if you have the chance and you've done your research. I love ground boas, and these are some of the coolest. Number 21, fish scaled gecko. Now I've seen these in the wild, well, in a villa in Madagascar a few months ago. Diane and I from Rep Reptiliatus were kind of like looking around and sure enough, there's this fish scale gecko behind a bookshelf in the bathroom there. Now these guys are called fish scale geckos because when you grab a hold of them, they'll kind of shed their skin like the scales, like a fish basically. So they have the weird scalation and they'll kind of shed it. So very cool, got to see these in the wild. Let's stay in Madagascar for number 20. We're talking about Brachesia. So this is the smallest, well, there's a many species, but some of the smallest chameleons in the world. These guys are gonna lay two eggs at a time. They're about the size of Tic Tacs. They always look very unhappy in their faces, but I think they're absolutely adorable. Some of the smallest chameleons in the world, I'm so glad I got to find one or several of them in Madagascar. And of course, if you're looking for a chameleon that doesn't get huge, Brachesia. Number 19, Northern Blunt Spined Monitor. They look like this, and uh, this is the first one on the list I've never heard of until yesterday when I asked the Discord for things I probably never heard of. So they're cool looking. They're monitors, they eat stuff that is living. I don't know, move on. Just quick, before we move on, thanks so much to Into the AM for sponsoring today's video. You guys are the very first sponsor I ever had, and I am so glad we got hooked up, because I'll tell you what, I don't wear any clothing that isn't WWR unless it's Into the AM. Shirts fit perfectly. The graphics are amazing. Everywhere I go, people ask me, hey, where, where'd you get that shirt? Like, for real, and all these videos, where do you get that shirt? And you know where you get it? IntoTheAM.com slash WWR. So, if you want the most comfortable, well-fitting, and coolest looking shirts that you can buy in hats and sleeveless and all of that, IntoTheAM.com slash WWR. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video. Let's move on to number 18. And that is a big headed turtle. Now this looks like a Pokemon and a dinosaur made a baby, right? These big heads are used for crushing things because that's what they're gonna eat. Things like mollusks and things that need to be crushed in order to get them to the meaty bits inside. One of the coolest species of reptile, period, because it doesn't even look like it's real. Like imagine if Cubone, the Pokemon, was a dinosaur. That's a big headed turtle. Number 17. Borneo earless monitors. Now these guys do technically have ears, but they have these smooth type heads. They look like dragons, very uncommon to find. I actually got to see one in person and touch it at a market in Thailand, but these are very rare and very expensive and very endangered. So if you have the opportunity to get one, make sure it's captive bred. Let's all do the planet a favor and not take any more of these out of the wild. Number 16, zombie frog. So the zombie frog is called the zombie frog because when researchers were looking for it in South Central America, well, they heard it, but couldn't see it. It was like a zombie because they dig into the ground and you can still hear them audibly from above the ground. Zombie frogs. Number 15, keel belly lizards. I actually keep these guys. They are an arboreal type species. I, they're not that big. They're like maybe the body's this big and then the tail is like, really big. These guys have keeled bellies, which is why they're called that. They have this cool defense mechanism where if they're threatened, they'll take their tongue and kind of wave it out. And they are insectivores. So very simple to feed. They climb around, they jump around. They're absolutely crazy. So much fun to watch. I love having these guys in my possession. They're so cool. I'm so glad that I got them. Number 14, snake neck turtle. Now this is kind of like a side neck, but not. They're called snake necks because their necks look like snakes. They're very, very long, and they can get you from like all angles, so be careful if you hold one. Number 13, king rat snakes. Now, it's called a king rat snake because it's the biggest of all the rat snakes in the world. Now, these guys get really big, and they're really cantankerous, which means really defensive, not aggressive. So, if you want to hold one of these, keep in mind they move more like an elapid than a colubrid. In fact, some training programs that train you how to take care of things like elapids, cobras, they will train you first with a king rat snake. They don't move the exact same, but they move similar enough. They kind of double back on themselves and overall really wicked animals. Number 12, green blooded skinks. They look like this. Uh, I don't know anything else about them. That's the second one on the list I'd never heard of until I made this video. Number 11, flying geckos. I went to Thailand with Dave Kaufman. He was making a video about 
all these lizards that fly and snakes that fly and things like that. Flying reptiles. So we needed to find a flying gecko to complete the list. We looked high and low. We hiked up a mountain. We could not find one of these things, even though the day before they were all over the freaking place. Now they're called flying geckos because they have webs between their feet. They can jump from things and they kind of glide, not really fly. And yes, we did find one the day after he wrapped up that video. Flying geckos. Number 10, thorny devils. Now, when I was a kid, I was obsessed with these animals. They're from Australia. They only eat ants. They're thorny. They have like this weird jerky movement when they walk and they have kind of like a second head on their shoulders to deter predators. They're one of the most unique species in the world, kind of similar to the horned lizards from North America, but not the same. One of my favorite reptiles on the planet. So cool. Number nine, Galapagos land iguanas. Now we've talked about marine iguanas before, but did you know they have a very similar cousin named the land iguana? And by the way, they can hybridize. How about that? Number eight, African egg-eating snakes. Why are they called that? They're from Africa, they're snakes, and they eat eggs. For real. Basically, they take an egg in their mouth, they have a bony projection about, I don't know, like, I'm, I'm a snake pretend. Like right about there. They poke it through, they suckle the goop out of the egg, and then they spit out the shell. So cool. And they have like these saw scales and they make sounds. It's underrated snakes. Number seven, Zong's odd scaled snake. This is the third one that I'd never heard of, but it looks like this. Super, I imagine it has keeled scales. Is that why it's called that? I don't know. Super cool. Number six, Mangchen vipers. One of my favorite vipers. They get pretty big, pretty girthy, and the venom is nothing to be messed with. They hide very high up in the mountains of where they're from in parts of China, and they're gonna be able to hide very well because they look like this. One of my favorite species of venomous snake, super cool, I'll never own one above my pay grade, but something worth talking about. Number five, Gunther Suntagu. So now we're up to the fourth species I'd never heard of, but I did some research. These guys are found in Central and South America, and it's a tagu species that is arboreal. How freaking cool is that? Number four, hognose viper. Now we all know what a hognose snake is. Now a hognose viper is something that's found in places like Costa Rica, I actually found one and I'd never heard of it until we stumbled upon one and the guide told us what it was. Very placid, very cool, very small, beautiful too, by the way. Not gonna kill you with its venom, but it is venomous and it's gonna give you a bad day. So keep your space and don't go too close to a hognose viper. Number three, hellbenders. Now you might've known about these if you're from parts of the US where you can find them. They're one of the biggest salamanders in the entire world. These guys are endangered as all get out. You can't even touch these things without legally getting a fine. So keep your hands away, but can you believe these things look like an alien and a Pokemon made a baby? That's a hellbender. Number two, Santa Catalina rattlesnake. Now this is a rattlesnake from Catalina Island that doesn't have a rattle. They've evolved not to have rattles. I don't know exactly why, but how freaking cool is that? And they're only found in a very tiny range on that island, so you're probably not gonna run into one, but something you probably didn't know existed. Number one, and the fifth thing on this list that I had never heard of before, scientist lunch buffet lizard. Why is it called that? Funny story, so there was a group of scientists at a buffet in Vietnam and they found one on their menu. And they're like, what the heck is that? And sure enough, it was an undescribed species of lizard. How wild is that? You're at lunch and then the undescribed species that you've never heard of or seen is on your menu. There you go. I wonder if any of them got eaten. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you think? How many of these did you know? How many didn't you know? What did I miss on the list? And if you would like to give me a birthday gift today, just hit the like button and subscribe. Really appreciate you, means a lot to me. And as always, a special thanks to the Patreon supporters. You guys are freaking amazing. You guys get videos early, extra content, discounts on merch, one-on-one -on -one meetings, all that for as little as $1 and that's it because we do videos on Mondays and Thursdays. That means I'll see you in the next one.